Hello everyone and welcome back to another code.org video. Today we are working our way through lesson number five in the Express Course 2018 curriculum. Let's go ahead and get started. So it says collecting treasure with Laurel. So this is another exercise in movement uh, throughout the code.org environment. So all we really need to do is think about what our character needs to do and make it happen with the code. All right, so right off the bat, we can see a pattern here. She's going to have to move. I guess Laurel's a she. I don't know. Um, our character is going to have to move diagonally up this way, and they might need to zigzag. So it looks like the easiest thing to do is going to be, oh, I see. We also have to tell it to collect. And it looks like we only need to collect one, but I bet we can tell it to get all of them. OK. So what we need to do is move forward, collect, well, let's say move forward, turn left, collect, move forward, turn right. And then we just need to repeat this a bunch of times. So you can measure how many times you need to do this by how many times you're going to need to collect. So one, two, three, four times is how many times we'll need to do this. And this should collect all of those gems right there. Okay, so we got two out of one, we've got three out of one, and now four out of one. Excellent. All right, so that's it right there. You just wrote six lines of code. Now, we didn't need to write that many because we only needed one gem, but this is going to come in handy in just a minute. So moving on to puzzle number three, you can see we have to move forward one, two, three, four spaces. So we'll just go ahead and just say repeat four times move forward and then we need to collect again and that should be all we need to do so Laurel moves forward there we go alright you just wrote three lines of code alright cool let's go ahead and continue on alright so here we only need to move forward twice Ooh, and it's not letting us delete any blocks okay so move forward move forward turn left that's correct move forward collect it so it's telling us you know sequence matters so the blocks we need are already in the workspace but they are not connected order these blocks to collect the treasure and solve the puzzle so that's not a big deal there we'll just do that and we're good all right we'll go ahead and continue on now to puzzle number five okay so you can see this one is a little bit trickier however not really, not a whole lot. So we can either move forward and turn and then continue moving forward, or just turn, move forward, turn, move forward. Um, I guess it's not going to matter what we do, so let's just do move forward. Whoops. So we need to move forward once, then we need to turn right, and then we need to move forward twice, so we don't need to use a repeat loop for that because we're only doing it twice. It's not going to save us any blocks collect and at this point we'll need to turn left oh I see there's another turn I just did them in reverse okay turn left move forward twice again and collect and we'll go ahead and get rid of that other collect okay so there we go collecting turning moving collecting perfect there's that was puzzle number five. All right, we're going on to puzzle six. So we need to move forward twice here, and then it looks like we need to turn right to go this way. And again, it can help to draw this on a piece of paper so you can orient yourself. Um, so you can see that these are all out of order here. Well, I'm just going to remove them all and start back from scratch. So we'll move forward twice, turn left. I'm sorry, turn right. And then from here, we need to move forward three times. So let's use a repeat loop. Set that to three, move forward, and then collect. Goodness, I have the window open. I don't know if you guys can hear those cars going by. Oh, wait. Ah, I see. We need to move forward twice. Collect. Move forward. Collect. Reset and run. And we have nine of nine blocks used, so this should do it. Perfect. All right. 
So anyway, I was saying, people are driving past really quickly. I have the window open because it's nice and cool and breezy, but goodness, I might have to shut it. All right, continue. Uh-oh. Why are we having trouble reaching that site? Oh, well, technical difficulties. I'll be back in a moment. And we're back. Um, I've been having some internet issues lately, so that was fun to go and deal with, but it's done now. Okay, so back to code.org. All right, so we are on puzzle seven now. It says, help me collect all of the treasure. These blocks are in the wrong order. Reorder them to collect all of the treasure. All right, so all we need to do is change the order of these. So let's see if we can just, no, it won't even let us delete the ones we can delete. Ugh, okay. I much prefer building from scratch than trying to reorganize this programming because it's not very often that you have to move this sort of stuff around. Okay, anyway, we're going to do some debugging here, which is the boring part. So the first thing we need to do is move forward, then immediately I can see we need to turn left, not right. Move forward, collect, and then it says turn left again, but I think that should actually be a right. So let's step, 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 and then... Oh, uh, yeah, it says turn right, okay, move forward, and then we need to not collect. We need to instead turn the, well, no, 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 no. What we're going to do is reset, run that. Okay, so we want to move forward again. So it will be here, then turn right, then move forward, then collect, then move forward, then collect. And that should get us there. All right, move forward, turn left, move forward, collect, move forward, turn right, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. Perfect. All right, there we go. Finished with puzzle seven. Okay, challenge puzzle time. Puzzle number eight, not a big deal. We have 16 blocks to work with, so we're going to need to, goodness gracious, okay. So I can already say we're just going to move forward, collect, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. So let's say move forward and collect, and we will do that three times to get all three gems. And then we need to turn right, it looks like, um, turn right. And then move forward twice, and then collect. So move forward, move forward, collect. And then we need to move forward twice again. So move forward twice again. Turn left. Yes, move forward and collect. Let's see if this works. All right, so we collected the first three, turned the correct direction, collected that one, moved to there, turn and collect. We're done, awesome. So that is the challenge puzzle right there. Congratulations, you collected all five items. Well, we are just geniuses, aren't we? Okay, challenge complete. Oh man, are you kidding me again? Ah, all right, well, I'm gonna take another break and we'll see what's going on. All right, we are back again. Hopefully this time we won't get interrupted before we finish this lesson. All right, let's go ahead and go full screen again. All right, we are on puzzle number nine. This should be significantly easier. So this time we're going to move forward, collect, move forward, collect, and then move forward twice and collect again. So we'll just go ahead and say repeat two times, move forward and collect. Now by doing this, Again, we are saving a block here because we're saying move forward and collect. And to say move forward, collect, move forward, collect would be four blocks, but in this case we're only using three, including the repeat loop. So then we need to move forward two more times and collect. And that should get us where we need to go. Excellent. All right. So we will click finish. Congratulations, you collected all three gems. Cool. All right, moving on to puzzle number 10. So this time we're going to move in a square pattern. So what we'll say is move forward, move forward, collect, turn right. 
So move forward, move forward, collect, turn right. And we will repeat this one, two, three times because we don't need to do it a fourth because that's where we started. So we'll let that run. And Laurel will go the three lines and be done. Excellent. So we used half as many blocks as we needed to because we're using these loops. So now when we actually get to the, the uh, lesson requiring us to use loops, we're going to be experts. All right, so finish, great, continue. Puzzle number 11, so help Laurel collect all of the treasure. So we need to move forward, collect, turn right, move forward, turn left, and then move forward, collect, turn right. So move forward, collect, turn right, move forward. I'm sorry, it's move forward, collect, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward, collect. There we go. Now I believe there's a way that we could have used loops here. Oops, no, no, no. That was supposed to be a left, so it's left then right. I don't know why. I guess I clicked right again. I meant to change that. I said it, I just didn't do it. All right, there we go. Excellent, continue. And so now we've got a thing here. All right, so it says, look at this code carefully. What do you think will happen when the program runs? So Laura will collect four pieces of treasure using this code. Uh, well, let's see what's gonna happen. Move forward, collect. Well, she's not gonna collect anything right there. Turn left, move forward, collect. So let's see. Yeah, there might be one. I don't know, let's say Ah, Laurel will try to collect treasure where there's not any and it causes an error. I bet that's what's going to happen. Yep, that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, cool. Moving on to puzzle 13. So here we have a bunch of gems. Cool. So it says collect as many pieces of treasure as you can to finish the stage. Okay, so really we could just collect one and then be done with it, but we're going to be overachievers today. We're going to do this a bit extra. Here we go. So we're going to go one, two, three. So here's what I think I'm going to have it do. I'm going to have it move forward, collect. So one, move forward, collect two, move forward, collect three. So we'll say move forward, collect, and we'll put this inside of a repeat loop. And so then we'll say turn left, and then we'll put this inside of a repeat loop, whoa, and have it do that three times, I think, is how many we want. Now, this isn't going to finish it. I just want to see where this ends up. Ah, okay. So, so we'll just say two times. And before we do this, we'll say move forward. So now that should let us get it. What? No. Move forward. Change the order there. Okay, so now turn. Okay. Collect. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, but we don't want to be done. We want to keep collecting, right? So we got to right about, and you can stop this at any point, by the way, on this puzzle. So we got to right there, and we did not end up collecting that one, I don't think. So we're going to say collect, turn left, move forward, collect, move forward, collect. We're not even using loops at this point. We just want to get it done, right? Okay, we're here, we're here. Ah, turn left a bit too quick. All right, let's see if we can get all of them. Here we go. Collecting, collecting, so 
right there. I think we finish our loop, move forward, turn left, move forward, collect. There we go. That got all of them. All right. And I think, yep, that does it for lesson number five. Sorry for those few interruptions. Hopefully it doesn't add too much length to the video. Uh, if this video helped you out, go ahead and leave a like, and please consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this and other things that I make videos about on YouTube. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you, and this guy too, in the next video.